We're speaking with Fernando Perez, who is the first president of La NEPA. Fernando, what were the obstacles and challenges that La NEPA found in trying to organize the Latino community in the Poconos? Well, initially, um, we basically operated from my home, or our home, and um, we didn't really have a location as such, so it took a little bit of time to kind of like get the organization up and running, and of course, the other thing that uh, we always tried to work on was getting the businesses involved because um, businesses are a two-way street. We would organize with the businesses and in, at the same time they would help us by putting ads in the newsletters that we would send out and that's how we paid much of the time for the uh, newsletters that we would send out. Uh, and some businesses would be a buy-in, but some businesses would not necessarily support, especially if they were beginning because their their uh, capital is very low at the time when they're starting. Other challenges we confronted was basically the uh, getting Latinos who actually had leadership skills to become part of La NEPA and move it forward because uh, my wife and I, we worked as much as we possibly could, but we didn't have all the answers to the issues that we were confronting as an organization. So when we put together a board, we tried to seek people out who were also either working in different organizations throughout the county so that they ha would have a different perspective as to how to move ahead with uh, uh, an organization such as ours. And of course, we relied a lot on uh, the county and um, besides the businesses to kind of guide us because politically we were trying to empower people so that they actually became a part of the community as well as a contributing member to La NEPA to move it forward. The location came, although it wasn't ours per se, um, our first festival was celebrated in uh, the American Legion and we uh, established co close ties with the leadership at the American Legion because they offered us an opportunity to run a festival there and they were very helpful in terms of facilitating that space on a continuous basis. And of course, you know, we outgrew that um, American Legion and then we had to transfer to Dansbury Park and of course the township of uh, East Stroudsburg was very helpful in allowing us to use Dansbury Park in order to run our festivals and that was very helpful for us as, uh, as an organization, as a community because again we worked very closely with the supervisors. Uh, I, I would have to commend my wife uh, who really battled to try and get that space because it wasn't an easy task to, to um, convince the board of uh, East Stroudsburg to, or the commissioners of East Stroudsburg to actually allow us to use the park for a one-time festival each year.